It's an exciting day today with Grinder and Kula, our two grizzly bears coming out uh, from their bear den for the very first time in 2023. Uh, it's always great to see them uh, outside and they're going to play in the snow. They're going to have a great time stretching their legs, dusting off their, their uh, dirty coats from sleeping all winter. And we're, yeah, we're, I just love watching it today. It's so much fun. Uh, they've been in the den now for 163 days. They went in uh, last November, and that's almost five and uh, five, coming up on five and a half months, which is one of the longest uh, hibernation periods here at Grouse Mountain. So I'm sure they're ready to stretch your legs. When they first come out from their den, they got lots of energy because they're excited to be outside playing in the snow. They do a lot of uh, wrestling behaviors, play between them. They're both excited to be out. They do a bit of digging. They can even dig some snow caves. But they also aren't in the best cardio shape because they've just spent the last five months uh, mostly sleeping. So they do get tired pretty quick and we see them go from uh, lots of play to having some good grizzly naps right after that. So even despite having a really long hibernation period this year, Grinder and Kula look super healthy. They're still a little bit chubby actually when they come out of the den. And bears do that on purpose so that they have some body fat in case they're not finding supplies in the wild, they're not finding enough food. They can live off those reserves until they find good food. Of course, that's not a problem here. We start to feed these guys right away. But we can't feed them too much too soon. We have to start them out with just some moist lettuce leaves to help flush out their system and get things uh, digesting again before we get onto their full summer diet. Grinder and Kula have come out into their hibernation habitat, we call it, which is a small little habitat we set up around their den to allow them to come out, stretch their legs, play in the snow, while we get to work on their larger five acre summer habitat. We've had a banner snow year here at Grouse Mountain, so we gotta clear snow out from their bear habitat so that we can get them into there safely. So that's our next job up here. So Grinder and Kula are 22 years old this year. This is the 22nd time they've hibernated on top of Grouse Mountain. And as usual, uh, Grinder came out first. So hibernation is a way to conserve energy and when, in, at a time of limited resources. And uh, this year, uh, Grinder lost uh, just over 200 pounds and uh, Kula lost 217 pounds. They both lose about 20 to 22% of their body weight during that uh, long sleep. They slept for 163 days, which is the third longest hibernation they've had uh, up here. Last year uh, they were in hibernation for 171 days. So uh, a little bit more snow this year. It was a really good ski year. Hi, I'm Kia. I'm one of the wildlife rangers here at Grouse Mountain. I have the pleasure of taking care of Grinder and Kula, our resident grizzly bears that live here on the mountain. They have just emerged out of hibernation. They're currently in their hibernation habitat and they are thoroughly enjoying playing in the snow. So they've come out looking very healthy and still a little bit chunky, but in the next few weeks as they continue to play around with each other and play in the snow they are going to continue losing some weight because right now they are only on iceberg lettuce as their diet so basically during hibernation they're not eating they're not drinking and they're not going to the bathroom so when they come out of hibernation they need to lubricate their digestive system again which is exactly what that iceberg lettuce does out in the wild bears will be eating things like skunk cabbage however our boys prefer the iceberg lettuce so that's what they're eating right now and then once we start seeing them eat roots and vegetables within their habitat we then start introducing carrots and sweet potatoes back into their diet and then we'll start introducing apples and honey and of course their favorite salmon so now that Grinder and Kula are up and awake and out of their den uh, we invite you to come up here to Grouse Mountain just follow the marked signs out to the grizzly bear den here and you can see them in their hibernation habitat playing in the snow having a great time we're open anytime the mountains open so come uh, say hi <laughs>